Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I wanted to do an unboxing video of the January Junk Trunk Kit. And this is uh, created by I'm a Cool Mom. Her name is Jessica. If you don't know about her uh, awesome kits, I will leave all the information down below. I believe she still has several January kits available. Uh, she was uh, she actually reached out and asked if I would be um, part of the design team for the January junk trunk kit and of course I said yes absolutely it's been such an honor uh, to be part of um, of this wonderful team so I thought I would share with you I guess the unboxing there are several unboxing videos already out there on YouTube uh, so I'm just going to quickly go over the unboxing and share with you a bit of my process I've already finished creating the uh, the journal out of the junk trunk kit and uh, but anyways I thought I would share with you just bits of the process and um, I guess show you some of the items that are included in the January junk trunk kit um, she like I mentioned she does have several pieces or several sets left of January and she's getting ready for February as well but I think she said it won't be released until a little bit later on in February. It won't be the beginning of February. You can see some of the printed pages here are actually from Mine Beretti. Uh, she's included some uh, tea dye or coffee dyed paper as well and some various uh, vintage papers which I absolutely love using. And the really exciting thing about this month's kit, this January's kit, is that it includes two pieces of fabric. Um, I received a plaid one and this brown uh, faux leather fabric which I had a bit of a problem with with my sewing machine but you'll see later on how I um, how I used those fabrics. I'm taping two pieces of paper here with some washi tape. This is a trick that you can use if you uh, have two separate pieces of paper and you kind of want to attach it together. You'll notice that I, I actually attached it upside down though one of the sheets. I left it upside down but that's okay. Now I'm just kind of folding the papers in half um, just kind of in putting them in really in random order. I'm not really thinking about placement as of yet and I want to incorporate this uh, booklet somehow but I still haven't really figured it out yet in this video. I, I don't end up using it actually but uh, you can definitely use those pages in the future. I've already gone ahead and cut down to size the papers that are included, the printable papers that are included, and uh, I'm just kind of seeing if I can add some kind of lace as well to the edge of the paper. So you, if you haven't guessed by the size, I'm going to actually go for a traveler's notebook kind of style uh, journal, and I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to be showing you the whole process from beginning to end. I guess I'll just show you like little snippets here and there. Here is the green ledger paper that's a bit long so I ended up folding it upwards and you can cut down the middle of that paper and then it kind of flips down. I'll show you a little bit later on in more detail. My apologies, I'm noticing that a lot of my shots here I'm not 100% in frame but you will see the gist of it I guess. I ended up actually ripping and tearing this image out and um, you'll see how I attach it to the paper later here. And the printables that are included, some of them I just left them as is and then some of them I decided to cut them apart and um, you know place them in on some of the places that I felt like um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just I cut some of the pieces apart and uh, I guess I played around with it. Uh, this one I thought was pretty neat. I decided to cut the cut the page in half and glue the top part down, the top half part down. And you'll see here that I've glued it, and then um, it can the bottom part will act like a pocket. I'm so sorry. The I'm I'm totally out of frame here, but. You'll see here that if you just glue the sides down, you'll, it will act as a pocket. Then I'm going through the pages again and just kind of paper clipping the parts that I want to sew down onto the paper. I tend to do that. I just um, 
sometimes I kind of wing it and then sometimes if I know I want to use this specific piece for this specific page I will use a paper clip to pin it down so that I remember um, that's where I will sew, sew it down later on. And this is how I'm measuring my fabric. I know it's really, uh, it's really, really basic. I think if I want to use fabric more in the future, I'm going to get a proper, I don't know what it's called, like a rotary cutter with proper measurements. Because I, I later realized once I started sewing, it just, it wasn't straight and I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> you'll see later on what it turns out to be like. But here's just a little sneak peek, I guess, of some of the pages that are included in the journal. I haven't bound it yet at this point, uh, but stay tuned for part two and I will show you how it turns out. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.